Polami Saha, who joins us uh, on this special broadcast. Uh, I, uh, and before that, Akhilesh Yadav, former Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh and Samajwadi Party Chief. Let's listen in. Janeshu Mizji ka aur Samajwadiyon ka jo rishta raha hai. Pure jeevan bhar Janeshu Mizji, gharib, pishde, dalit aur jin ka jeevan abhav mein raha. Polami Saha joins us on this special broadcast. Polami, the Prime Minister has just tweeted a picture of, of the Divya Bhavya Ram Temple. Tell us more about the entire effort that's going in for this moment of the Pran Pratishtha and what you see around you. Well, uh, Gaurav, this has been a long time coming and it has been in the making for a very, very long time. Remember that the construction of the Ram Temple began in 2020 after the Bhumi Puja and after the Supreme Court order of uh, 2019, which cleared the way for the construction of uh, the Ram Temple. And then, of course, the trust was formed uh, as uh, per directed by the Supreme Court. The center formed the Ram Janmabhumi Teet Shetra Trust. And that trust then, of course, uh, started... Uh, designing in terms of uh, who will do what uh, as far as the construction of uh, the Ram Temple is uh, concerned. And then, of course, uh, uh, they turned to one of uh, the designers who had been, in fact, approached by VHP's Ashok Singhal very early on itself, and that is Mr. Chandrakant Sompura of Ahmedabad, a family which has been into temple architecture for a very, very long time, 200 temples uh, that has been designed by the Sompura family across uh, the country and it was then of course uh, that the first design was made by Chandrakant Sompura in 1989 itself. They were brought on board again the Sompura family because Ashish Sompura and Nikhil Sompura, sons of Mr. Chandrakant Sompura continued the tradition and in 2020 they of course modernized the design, redesigned it, made sure that it is earthquake resistant and various other sustainability factors were brought into uh, the temple architecture and after they designed it again an old association, Larson and Tubro was brought into the picture for the construction of the temple. Again a conversation that BHP's Ashok Singhal had had with Mr. Nayak of uh, Larson and Tubro very very early on that if the temple is constructed we'd want LNT to do the job and that's exactly what LNT has done. We spoke with the team LNT here at the temple yesterday, the project director and uh, the board Stay uh, director with me, Paul as me. well. This picture of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's MI-17 1V helicopter of the Indian Air Force. Uh, there are four such helicopters that are standing by at the Maharshi Valmiki International Airport. One flying the Prime Minister in just a moment ago and we'll just show you both the pictures. The Prime Minister's helicopter and that picture taken from the helicopter of that Divya Bhavya Ram Temple. We put out both those images for you on India Today. There are other helicopters of the Indian Air Force that are on standby and they will shower petals the moment the Pran Pratishtha takes place. And this actually in a way brings to light what Rishi Muni said. Dev Swarg se pushp varsha kar rahe hai. Aakash se pushp varsha kar rahe hai. Jab Ram ji a rahe hai. There's a lovely mural at the Maharshi Valmiki International Airport that shows that when the pushpak viman had come in with Lord Ram Ma Sita, Bhaiya Lakshman and with Lord Hanuman, that's the time Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh and the Devtas they were showering petals on Ayodhya. So all of that civilizational glory of Bharat is in a way being rekindled, reconnecting with our roots, reconnecting with Lord Ram. Polami, I wanted to describe this image of the Prime Minister's chopper and the, and the image taken by the Prime Minister from the chopper. But take it away once again, Polami, as we wait for the Prime Minister to arrive at the Janma Bhumi for the Pran Pratishtha. Polami. That's right. It's a beautiful aerial shot of Ayodhya that the Prime Minister has taken, as you were earlier telling us, uh, Gaurav, as well, and reminding our viewers that uh, the Prime Minister, of course, had uh, taken a vow that he will return to Ayodhya 
when of course the temple is ready and the pran pratishtha of the ram lalla idol happens and that moment has come so this is a very auspicious moment for the prime minister as well it is a momentous occasion for the prime minister last frame to stay with the pictures because the pictures speak a lot at the moment because you can just see uh, you know how devotees across both sides of uh, the street leading up to the ram janmabhoomi sthan the number is only swelling by every minute got up uh, since i've been here the number has gone up at least 3 to 4 times uh, you know uh, since this uh, morning uh, and this is the kind of fervor we fervor we saw until last night as well people refused to leave uh, you know lata chowk despite it being biting cold it was late in the night but probably they didn't want to catch a wink in case they missed this very momentous occasion they may have had a very sleepless night as well because they were here very very early in the morning alongside the media to of course uh, be part of this historic moment and the prime minister of course has landed in ayodhya in a short while from now he will of course reach uh, the ram temple as well the pran pratishtha rituals of course begin at 12:05 pm this afternoon all the guests have arrived and are in attendance at the moment as protocol demands that they be seated before the prime minister reaches uh, the venue and that is uh, what is happening inside of course the mandir complex at the moment the prime minister will arrive at 12:05 pm the rituals are when they begin it's that's when it begins in the sanctum sanctorum the garb griha and then of course it carries on till about 12:55 in the afternoon and 12:20 being the abhijit mood when in fact uh, the pran pratishtha is to happen opening up a small window of 84 holy seconds when that happens but the mangal dhwani of course has been underway uh, got up inside the ram janmabhoomi sthan because the mangal dhwani of course started at about 10 am this morning it will carry on for another 45 minutes till 12 in the afternoon the mangal dhwani being the auspicious chant that will go on with 50 different exquisite musical instruments uh, which will be in fact creating this uh, aura around the entire complex of uh, the very auspicious moment that is set to arrive and you can just see the sense of celebration and jubilation i'll ask frame to walk ahead and show some of those images as well of uh, the celebrations uh, that are underway over here because uh, everyone here is just waiting for that moment very very patiently they waited many long years they say and this moment has finally arrived the day has finally arrived when they will be able to witness it so the prime minister will be shortly arriving inside the temple complex for the rituals of the pran pratishtha to begin and Gaurav, look at look at those lovely images on on our television screen from the rampath and the dharmpath for the benefit of our viewers these are two major arterial roads in ayodhya the rampath is the road that takes you to the shri ram janmabhoomi temple dharmpath is the road which is one of the main arterial entry points to ayodhya and all along when you see these dancers on the streets these are multiple stages that have been set up and the entire ramayan is not only being enacted it is also being sculpted on various walls